Hi, I'm Susan Coles, and I am from Palisade, Colorado. Uh, what medium do you usually use? I currently am using doing photography, and I'm doing jewelry. So, okay. And with your photography, you print on metallic paper, yes. which is a little different. Mm -hmm. Can you explain kind of the process? Um, because because I want to focus without a frame. I don't put a frame around my um, art. Um, the metallic paper also has an iridescent pop to it, so from different angles you have more depth, and um, it works for the kind of photography that I'm doing. Perfect. And you also digitally alter colors and... Yes, I play. Like you play. I play. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when did you first realize that you were an artist? I have no idea. Um, when I was little, I never considered my someone who, someone who would draw. But I was always manipulating things, and creativity would be the word I would use. Um, I had an art teacher in high school that was very, um, very influential in my life because he taught, taught me how to see what was really there, not what I thought was there. And that's kind of his. And to me, I took it, I always wanted to be an art teacher, and take it to the interpersonal relationship um, pieces because to me they go together. So then, then, and then I had children, <laughs> and my my creativity went into. I had, at that time I was married to a man who was a builder, and um, we remodeled the houses we lived in, and I absolutely loved tearing out walls and adding in light and color, and don't like white walls. I you know always have to do something with them. So. It, it flowed there, and then when I went to college late in life, and I told myself, do not go into the art department because I'll get sucked in. <laughs> I will be absorbed in it because I, I thought I, if I really got a teaching degree in art, that I wouldn't be able to get a job. <sighs> so <laughs> I got sucked in, and I ended up in ceramics and did pottery for quite a while, um, had two kilns. And, beat up things and did ceramics and it was so hard on my body and my body was breaking down and I'm older so um, it just didn't work and it took me a long time to give them up to sell them to um, surrender to that and um, this happened Atari, because I did take pictures always in the background on the side and then there was an opportunity last year um, a friend of a friend had a gallery that opened in Fruita, and she said, you know, try doing this, and I, I did, and it's gone over well, and I always felt guilty of the Palisade and going through it, but this opened up to be here, and um, that feels good. It feels good to be in Palisade, and we're glad to have you here. Um, can you tell me about a famous artist that influenced you? Or I'm eclectic. I, I try to think about a famous artist. And I always like Georgia O'Keeffe's stuff, and but I like Monet, and I like, um, it always seems to be someone with color. Ansel Adams, his photography was beautiful to me. Um, I, I just kind of pick. I can't say this is the person, so. Okay. Yeah, that's totally understandable. Yes. There are too many. <laughs> <laughs> there are too many. Um, can you, why did you choose photography? Was it a natural thing or was it kind of a... Um, yes, I think it was, no, it was, it was something I could take with me. I love to be outdoors. I mean, I do outdoor photography. And to catch nature, to play with what I see um, when I'm out and found a special place up on the, Grand Mesa here, that's our kind of a, like my little secret spot, and I go play in there, um, you know, follow weird little deer trails. And, um, it just came naturally, and then I have a son-in-law who's phenomenal, um, and I have a daughter-in-law who is also very good, and she does, um, she does portraits and people. She's a people picture person. Okay. So something that I see in your art is that you 
um, you see nature and you take pictures of it either close up or farther away and then you put yourself in it, whether it's the colors or it's, it just seems like there's you inside of it. You could tell your, your taste is a little eclectic and that you play with it that way. Mm -hmm. is, it, is that a conscious decision? Is that very you much know, it, Yes, be? because it seems to me I'm making it into a, a picture. I mean, a, a, a painting. It's, okay. it's, I'm taking the photograph and creating a piece of art as opposed to just taking a picture. Um, what inspires you? Sometimes it's hard to stay motivated to keep creating. What inspires you to constantly work? I don't constantly work. I <laughs> ebb and flow with this. I have times where it, I, I'm dry. Being outside, I mean, consciously taking myself someplace, um, that going to that one spot that I know of helps. Um, Getting outside will help, but even that, this time of year is hard for me. I because I need I need I need change. I need snow. It, I mean, I and I don't. I'm not getting in the car and heading off somewhere, which I I ought to. I ought to get up early when the light is good and stay out when the light is good. And currently, I'm not doing that. Um, I'm lazy. <laughs> I am lazy. Right now, I'm lazy. Yeah, hopefully that'll change. Um, do you see your work evolving into something else? Do you see it kind of? I that I, that's a God thing for me. I I am a Christian, and I literally have submitted my art to God because I don't want to go to the selfish end. Sometimes I see people come so um, compulsive in what they're doing. I don't want to go there. And so I don't know where this is going. I'm going to keep going as long as there's some open doors and, um, and changing. And what I really need is more technical skill. Um, I need to learn more because I really am curious. They talk about what I'm doing. And, um, but the technical stuff really sucks the creativity out of me. So when I have to learn the head stuff, um, to me, I can't. Always bring them together. Have to get away from that. Computer. <laughs> I have to get away from that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and just tell us why you are an artist. Why this is something that you choose to do. Always seem to be creative. Always seem to even as a little kid doodling in the dirt, playing with sticks and making, you know, structures. Or I. It seems like I've always had to do it, and I've always been drawn to that. Um, you know, I lived in Japan when I was 10 for a year. Phenomenal art class that we had. And, and man, I, I mean, it just opened my eyes to a whole different kind of art. Um, and it excites me. You know, what I'm missing is um, community or, or being with other artists while they're working and learning. Because I am, I am. By myself, and I do learn from being around other people, just listening to them and watching. Them. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just part of me. Was there anything else that you'd like to share? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. That was great. Welcome to the